It is time to get stuck into game one of the grand finals here of Dream League Season 23. It's Gaming Gladiators up against Team Falcons. Hell yeah. And Andy, as the panel was staying fogged, uh, these two, they met up the other day and it didn't go too great for Falcons. They got stomped two times back to back. Are things going to be a little bit different today? They've completely surrounded Amar the here. Begins. I mean, this if Seller's going to be able to get the setup. He's in with the battery assault, trying to get in with the body blocks as well. Amar caught in the brambles. It's going to be first blood. Goes the way of Tofu. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Falcons do so. Tofu, oh. you Shadow Realm already. This looks pretty good. brambles to rely on, but indeed, that's not going to hold them back. They'll be able to take him down. Falcons, <laughs> themselves a kill. Ready to back up Quinn, but indeed with this amplified damage rune, this tower's dying very, very fast. They glyph the wave even. I mean, and there we go. I mean, they'll get the deny at least, but still six and a half minutes in, losing the tier one tower here to the first ult of the Dragon Knight. Maurini's going to be able to pick up a kill as well. Gets in on top of Celery. Crit with the kill secure. Pressure, baby. When you've got this type of lead, we've seen how much damage this hero does. I Crip. would imagine he's going to pressure. He's got the setup. They got the Dragon Tail stun to follow up. Celery, he's gone. So much damage here between the two of them. Maureen and Crit, they could team up and take down anyone right now. Bottom lane, AC has to TP away. Bottom lane. And here comes Maureen. Lots of TPs coming this forward. Nice. He's trying to put some pressure on a skeeter, but the backup comes in immediately, and Amar's there ready to cancel the TP and take him down. Playing so well this early game. It's crisp. Make any type of like any small aggressive move. It's just been met perfectly here so far from the mid. Falcons. Gonna try and deal with Crit. Now get him with the hook shot. Crit will try and jump away with the sharpshooter. And I tell you what, he gets away. he's actually gonna get away for the and here three. Comes the gang. That's ridiculous. And now with the backup, they jump forward with the crush. They're in on top of Quinn. He's actually he's able to get dead. the acorn shot. The hook, the bushwhack off. Crit. He's still alive. Finally, he falls, but he's done. He did all the everything that the team needed there. He survives long enough. And he provides came the turn around. They're gonna kill off Ace. Oh boy. I mean, a, a brilliant death really from Crit. He did everything there. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Adaracha. He's gonna have his work cut out for him. Ah, um, with the hook shot to snaking. Yeah, it should be a very dead Crystal Maiden. Insanely farmed. Massive. And he's very close to having the Mage Slayer this time. Very nice versus Quinn. He's in on top of him. It's another one. I mean, they're cleaning up kills wherever they want to go. Trying to get a setup here onto Crit. They've got a rocket and a hook shot. It would be a nice kill. Crit's pretty annoying. Should have it. That's a stack acquired. Same time in, in the mid though. Ooh, I and tell you what, here. Tofu coming in with a save. The fear there. Pushing back the two of them, keeping Quinn safe. He'll pay with his life, Tofu. These gates coming in. I mean, in. Ace is considering fighting this. They'll bring Stellar across as well. They've got Marine trapped in the cogs. Do they have the damage? Snaking laying down it's the freezing field for the side damage. of the fight. And indeed, with Quinn closing in, they'll have enough to bring Malarine down. May even be able to look for more. I mean, Skeeter and Snaking are trying to turn back towards Celery, but Celery's able to back away. Falcons this time, they had to be a bit careful as they continue the retreat. Duracho was considering chasing. I mean, Skeeter and Snaking, they're still sticking around. The rest of Falcons starting to swing over. Quinn, he's still already this TP'd out. There's the jump from Amar. He's in, he gets the two-man crush. He's straight on top of Duracho. The follow-up bushwhack's there. They've killed off Duracho. There's going to be a pause. How big is the distance when he has 200? Well, that's what I want to see sort of visually how crazy the thieves does start getting. Because back in action, Celery's gone. Did manage to get the purchase up on the way out though, so Solar Crest Dead. will be there for Celery. Drums and stuff like that, but in this one definitely feels it can be very yeah, nice to have these early creeps. Malreen, nice. he steps up a bit far. Got the setup with the pit. No extra fight. Uh, the rotation's here. The back. Maori jumps back in. Goes with the Dragon Tail on towards Quinn. Crit and Skeeter, they're ready to try and catch the less track. The bushwhacks in. And they've got the damage to tear Quinn down. No chance of a save from the rest of game in and now snaking. Maybe even looking to set up for more. Celery will get him with a hook shot. There's the barrage there coming in with Duraccio. The Crystal Maiden completely annihilated. Do they want to dive the tower though, Crit? Getting the follow up onto Ace, but Ace is still pretty tanky here. Duraccio. Oh Good Duraccio. Good Duraccio. I think they're almost surprised that they <laughs> saw him when they put down the sentry. They kind of put the sentry down. They're like. Hold up, that's a clinks underneath us. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, oh no. Runs in and insta dies. I mean, that's, it really looked like Falcons. They, they, they were surprised themselves. They're like, my goodness, there's a clinks. If anyone, I mean, even if they have the follow up from like just crit, it's going to be a lot yeah. of damage. And so far, it's like Ace, he's got his Greaves, I believe, almost under. He's got the mech and the pipe, but 
No extra little bits of armor beside Celery. the controller. Celery. So you get the catch on to Snaking. Try and go for the easy kill first. No get it. They'll take down Snaking off the Amar. side. Quinn and Dretcher, they're in onto Amar, but Amar's going to get forced back to safety. Quinn. He's away. Quinn getting focused by Skeeter. He'll stand his ground. Go for the stun onto Skeeter, but Skeeter, he's just going to continue to beat into Quinn. Gets the kill. He'll be able to reset, get out of there. In fact, he could consider coming back in on this fight. Dretcher, he's getting focused down by Maureen. Double kill for the Dragon Knight, and maybe even more as Maureen turns up towards Celery. Crit slides down to the low ground, keeps himself alive. It's a triple kill for Malreen. And Falcons, they only lost Snake. They don't have the stun. To <laughs> Amar went through. Oh. <laughs> well, he's fine. All right, TP out from there. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh. They just misses. They don't have the <laughs> they don't have the stuns or the damage to go through this Weaver at this point. Get some more armor. Yeah, gonna help the a lot. They get need the tower. It. They really do need these kills at this point. If they get a couple, maybe even get a rush. We'll see. Falcons. The jump's ready to be made. Dracho's gonna show himself first. Tofu's in with the fear, but the BKB's BKB. out for Maureen. Dracho on the retreat. Has to get away from this Dragon Knight. The hook shot's not gonna connect in over towards Skeeter. Tofu, he's stuck on top of Skeeter. As Skeeter will look towards the Dark Willow. Time lapse has to be used by Skeeter. Celery will continue to control him here in the cogs. And in fact, Quinn's got the damage coming they in from the back lines. They control the Weaver, they kill him off. And Quinn, he's still got mana in the tank to look for more. He looks over towards Maureen, but he's caught by the bushwhack. And he's Mr. coming back for the Fiend's Gate. And they get any further control on towards Maureen. Amara crit doesn't look like it. The three of them back off. Uh oh, this buyback. I mean, Amalreen or Amar could be ready to jump again. That's not a great buyback. If they have to get onto the Miracle Shots out between the three of them, the Bushwhack will connect onto the two. Jump four from Malreen. Not able to get the stun straight away, and Celery will lay down the cogs. Try and get through it. I mean, Ace and Quinn, maybe considering if they can still fight this, Amar's but they absolutely in. can't with a jump like that from Amar. Straight on top of Celery and Ace. They'll move forward, take Ace down, as he's going to be out for 73 there with that dieback. Quinn, he should be fine. I mean, Amar's going to have a blink. I know, he blinks up in a second. Amar might be able to get this. He's in with the crush. Is there any sort of save for Quinn? They'll force him to the side. He's trying to get back in. The push might go hit, but the acorn shot does. Crit him with the snipe to take Quinn down. Falcons is just playing these fights so nicely. Duraccio had to run pretty much the entire fight. Maybe things would get a little easy, but at the same time, yeah, Falcons, they have heroes that are not afraid of just jumping straight into the base. You can see they're feeling that pressure. I mean, Ace, a risky play Up to go on. for the buyback, and it just he doesn't even catch the pin onto Malreen initially when he does go for it. And now Roche quickly to drop. And Aghanim's also on a mark. They're hitting every single timing. Yeah, all three cores just having spectacular games. Five and one on Skeeter, eight and one on Maureen, five and one on Amar. Yeah, they're, they're definitely punching back as hard as gaming gladiators hit them the other day in the series. Here we go again. Snaking, they got the hook shot across, they get the cocks in onto the two of them, but they've already lost Tofu and Mar. He'll slide out for now. There'll be the buyback from Tofu to get straight back into the action. TP's over towards the tier two. They get the kill on Snaking. Nice. Ace was considering already bailing out. He put the portal back, or maybe to get the port in for his teammate. Higher level than everybody on the side of Game of Gladiators now at this point, too, with these consecutive team fight wins. And almost, I mean, he almost has his Gleipner, too, so the scaling is continuing from him. And Acorn shot with all this minus armor, it's going to be fantastic, too. Clean up kill after kill. Yep. With the Acorns. Brax is falling. They'll do something soon, they'll try it, but Maureen's already out of the base. I mean, Acorn shot the Dragon Tail, and there's going to be a sharp shot coming in as well. Celery's gone. The fear will come out onto the three of them. The barrage is well in no the direction, damage. but it's not enough to threaten Amar. Amar perfectly fine. They've lost the two, and there's no buyback on Quinn. That's the Falcons, they're ready to push up and kill him outside the fountain. Ace goes down, also without buyback. So, Falcons, they've got all the time in the world to swing across, take another set of barracks, and maybe even just close up the game right now. Tier two up top. Gaming, they're actually going to stay in it. So instead of barracks taken, though, the damage really has done. been done. And they do call and it. And they'll call it. Well, there we go. GG is called game one. As I say, you know, they say you learn a lot from losses, and apparently they do. Yeah, Falcons, right. after getting stomped two times the other day by Gaming Gladiators, they come in today, and this game won 28 minutes in, 29k lead, 30 to 11. It was just as much of a stomp the other way around, folks. Yep. TA mid here and give it a comfortable lane, then. Falcons are in a, they've put themselves in a draft disadvantage. Whoa, that's different. Okay, so it's it gonna be mid-razor then.
I mean, Midraiser should be fine versus TA. Game two now between Gaming Gladiators and Falcons. And let's indeed find out if Gaming Gladiators can get back to sort of the level that they were performing at against Falcons the other day, or if Falcons are going to continue to stay on top. We're going to see the game probably start off with the first blood here. Crit does get the three-man avalanche out, but the Ray Fire Blast comes in. Ace with the block off as Crit can't run away from this. First blood for Gaming Gladiators and for Tofu. So this game two draft, I'm ahead from the panel. They still like what Falcons have got, but they feel the Gaming Gladiators sh surely are going to have a so bit of a better shot draft. than they did in game one. Fall. Because of course we have a lot of Grandmaster heroes. Because I think the, the three of them yep. on and the side of Falcons. And we do have to talk about a couple things. Oh. We will see Diraccio die oh, right I'm here. Got the bounty rune, uh, but indeed he'll die for that. Oh, and they get a ward. Look at that. Look at the little D ward. I feel like I can't look away from mid. I was going to say both of them. Marion could definitely do a good chase down onto Quinn here. Refraction still caught out for eight more seconds. He Quinn might have he him. Might be gone, and indeed he is. Marion able to get the solo kill. Oh, that's a big deal. That TA is struggling already yeah, look, in the matchup. That is absolutely true. Look at the CS 12 for five against the six for one. So doubling up on the last hits here. As it's uh, ended up being. And I'm already, I'm seeing an old school crit movement. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, he can, Walking he through can the leave Amar on his own. Amar's this timber store and indeed oh, Quinn. Quinn could be in trouble. They've got to bring these TPs in. Quinn is going to get caught by the tossback. Is there anything Celery could do to save him? There is not. Quinn dead again. Oh, Falcons on point. I mean, they could look maybe towards Celery. They've got the blood grenade. A few more right clicks from Maori with his stolen damage that he's built nice up with the tree. static link. I mean, Maori, you know what? He's going to be happy that Crit died there. It's just a, another solo kill for him. This lad, he's, he's essentially got the solo XP from like three kills. Going toward the top lane next. Falcons coming in with a game plan, and the game plan is working beautifully. Um, they are exposing Quinn. I think XMZA was getting more out of the mid lane at this point. Oh, come on, don't be I mean, Okay. <laughs> it's right. Up. Good bushwhack. Oh, great vacuum. That's going to kill Crit, and tell you what, Ace is going to get Skeeter as Ooh. well. The recovery being made on the top lane here for Gaming Gladiators. Ace, he's ready to chase down for more potential. He goes over towards Snake King. They, they should have a rotation coming Maureen. in from Maureen. The bushwhack's out, sets up for Ace to get a triple kill. So where Quinn may be suffering, Ace is ready to pick up the slack, and he's ready to carry this game on his dogs. How are the stacks looking? I mean, they'll eventually get some stacks lane. for him to catch up, and Skeeter is struggling a lot, too. Uh, he is. Here comes Maureen. Rotation's there. I mean, Ace is quite the big kill. They get the drag back with the rift. They bring him down. I mean, Maureen. All these kills he was getting in the mid, he moves up to top, he gets the double, and one of them being this dark seer that's incredibly fond and for the early stage of the game. Level sure. as well too, so. Can Marion just go on him and dive him? He needs one. He needs okay. somebody with him. Okay, and he's got that. Crit tip. Got the toss back onto Quinn. Crit. It's falling low in return. Dracho comes in with the rotation. We'll be able to kill him. And in fact, with Dracho's presence, Marion won't be able to push on and take down Quinn. So nice little move across there towards the mid lane to keep Quinn safe. At the same time up top, they take down Snake King. So Gladiators making some good moves. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Right, the three of them down here definitely poses a bit more of a threat to Amar. They're rotating Maureen. They're smoking him. Crit goes to the mid lane. Trying to apply more pressure with this Razor West. I mean, they want to try and burst this Timber Sword. We'll see if they succeed. They get the bushwhack. Got out. Uh, the sharp shot's not going to be on target. Dracho's in. Uh, one more hit might do it, but he can't quite get it off. Amar's able to get away. Shakram's down. He's going to heal up. Celery tries to finish him off with the impetus damage, but it isn't enough. The curse is there, catching the two of them as they'll punch down Celery. Another Shakram comes sliding across here from oh, Amar. They take Celery down. They've killed off Ace. And they might just be able to look towards Dracho as well. They've got the three of them surrounding on Skeeter turning up as well. Dracho is in a lot of trouble. He has got the They've reincarnation. Got so he's going to come back for round two, but indeed with a full team completely trapping Duraccio, they will have no struggle taking him down as well. So Falcons back to getting the clean kills and losing nothing themselves. And that Wraith King. It looks like they're actually giving the Wisdom Rune also perhaps to Skitter to keep it neutral. Oh, they're going to try and look for a kill. They've got the Amplified Damage Rune on Quinn. Closes the gap over towards Amar Tofu. He got the control. Not quite. The tree. The Whirling Death indeed there in time to cut down the tree set up by the Acorn Shot. Doesn't matter though, they're still able to chase him and take him out. Immediate TP's coming in to help out Taracho's Maureen is playing super aggressive the here. The curse is here, out onto the three of them. Duracho in his final few moments trying to trade back One with Maureen, second. but they get the kill. One second left. It was actually just about to be up. And 
Quinn gets a deny actually on the base. And they're gonna give the TP out, Quinn and Celery. They have enough damage. On top lane. Or again. They're making the rotation. And the, the two supports could look for the setup. If they bring in a core, they may have the damage to threaten him, but again the Chakram coming back in will cut the tree, stop and get a caught by the bushwhack. He tries for a chain TP with a rate five blast from Duraccio. Was there to get him. The impetus is they'll finish him. 28 kills, 17 minutes, and it's not slowing down at all. Crit, he has Blink Dagger now for the jumps. They want to go in on mid. Look at the jump in. They've got the Orchid. It should be a, a pretty dead Quinn. Is there any backup coming in to help him? Nope. Doesn't matter. Either way, Falcons have the damage. They take Quinn down. That's a big Blink reveal for Crit. Opt against going with the Blink Dagger for himself, so he's just going Greaves for the team fight, it looks like, rather than having another form of jump. So trying to match, of course, the aura. Tofu. Ace has Tofu. He's going to try for the setup. Look at the wall drop down as well, and he's going to get the double illusions nice. out of this. The bushwhack, TP's coming in straight away. The corner breaks down Skeeter, though. Use the curse to hold back Duraccio. Tofu's going to get caught by the silence. He'll be the first to fall. They try and push on forward towards the CK, but they're not able to stay on top of him. And now Celery's the one to get taken out in return as Malarine turns towards him. But the two of them, Falcons, they can maybe look for more. They turn over towards Ace, crits him with a jump and the toss back. Nice a third kill for Falcons. And now Duraccio and Quinn, the last two left alive. Quinn's just got to get out of here. There's no further fight to be had as Duracho falls the once, falls the twice. Falcons, they're going to get the four of them. So quick to bring the numbers. They had five there almost instantly to react. You have to expect the Falcons is going to bring the five. You have to have yours at the ready. Top tower is under attack. Now it's getting harder and harder too when you're at a gold deficit. Still a Radiant's talisman away from the Radiance on Duracho and he's going to be the one to get jumped. His reincarnation on cooldown. They get the toss back into the burst. He's gone. They'll be the bushwhack in return. They'll see if they can take down Crit, but they can't. Crit's going to be able to walk another out, one. jump forward. They have to silence. It's going to be another kill for Falcons. Monster. Absolutely stepping up the tempo and getting things back on track here. 24 to 12, 10k lead for Falcons. They're not letting Duraccio get any farm. Radiance middle tower He's not attack. able to get this Radiance. That's... Oh, oh. oh no. no. That's all that sticky keyboard. That happens. Feeling the pressure. <laughs> that's that's that, sure. I think that actually looks like my, if that's over his keyboard, that's nasty. That, <laughs> that's not fun to play the rest of the game with. Celery. Oh, can't no. run. Hey, at least you don't have to press too many buttons with Wraith King, I guess. That's true. But he's getting no space. That's I'm, seven deaths for Duraccio. I mean, it's it, just it's a just vacuum. Actually, there's actually just nothing. There's nothing. I mean, well, vacuum into maybe some acorn shot bushwhack. Yeah, but that's just about it. Uh, but that's uh, also yeah, pretty unlikely. I mean, we're seeing every single time in the fight, as soon as Amar sees Tofu, he's thrown out his it's chakrams, so these trees are getting cut. Quinn's dead in the mid. Uh, this game's fallen apart. It has completely fallen apart. It jump looked like there was going to be a little bit of hope for gaming gladiators. Uh, you know, sort of after the first 10 minutes, they were making a bit of a comeback. They pretty much got the numbers back to even. Uh, but just like that, things have sped back up and now kind of feeding one by one. Get the jump on to in. The next. One by one by one. One by one by one. Falcons just playing it so clean. So together as a team. Yeah, the two down in the mid. And get the Creepways pushed in in the other lanes. They can keep this going. They've not got a lot to fear right now. Falcons, they are very, very strong in comparison. All of their cores. Oh, nice try. Snay too fast. And they're scouting him out of the courier as well. It's going to give the vision for Crit to get him with the combo. And they found the Enchantress as well. Skeeter right on top of Celery. He's got Nice. Lucky that there's no sort of TP cancel there on a map. Half HP. Falcons prepared for the fight as well. Malreen stepping outside. Arcane Rune and a Satanic. Dracho goes in. We'll see Amar. Even Amar doesn't really care at all. He's ready to just throw down the Chakram and the combo straight over towards him. They jump into the trees, take down Tofu. They've surrounded Quinn. There'll be the vacuum wall onto the two of them. But Quinn has to put the BKB and run. They'll curse him to hold him in position. Quinn's out. I mean, only crit to fall on the side of Falcons, and he buys back. He's able to get him with the avalanche, make sure that Ace isn't able to TP away. It's not the fight the Gaming Gladiators were hoping that somehow they would get going. They'd lose three of their own. That can just be left alone. They just almost a heart. They're just getting take here and take here. Gaming. Trying to find the back line. I mean, they're looking at Amar, but... That ain't who you want. No. It's not really going to do a whole lot. Now Maureen's in. He's got the stand. Four He's a four-man avalanche. They'll get the vacuum wall off onto the four of them. They're bringing crit down low, but the corner brace is there. doesn't matter.
and a crit will fall, so they get a kill. See if they can get anything more. Skeeter's gonna get brought low, but he doesn't actually die. He survives, even if he goes down, he's still got the Aegis. Quinn's dead. Skeeter, he's ready to go for more. Potentially, he's gonna look over towards Teller. He's Teller, he's caught by the Silence. Jump forward with the Timber Chain of Amar. He's diving in onto the base. Ace has been caught by the Static. Then Quinn, Quinn buy back. he's gonna buy back. Got a bit of control on Amar inside the base. Silenced as well. And Cold Grace. Grace is there for Snake It. Amar still falling to the damage of the Impetus, though. They will get him. Another vacuum. Down to Skeeter and Maureen. They've taken the Aegis out of the hands of Skeeter. Can they get Maureen? Look towards him. An Impetus or two brings him low. Cold Embrace for Snake King comes out. But Maureen will fall. Skeeter goes for the BKB TP. Quinn jumps down to the low ground. They've got the root of the Aetos. They'll get a fourth kill on the defense. And it only cost them only the one. one buyback on Quinn. Who did the most damage in this fight? I'm looking. I feel like the Enchantress was doing work. All right. The Radiance and just the Ench were able to actually do so much up on the high ground. Yeah, there. I mean, they, they, they'll, they'll take that any day of Absolutely. the week. Absolutely. Uh, a a defense that. out of nowhere here from Gaming Gladiators. It's going to keep this game alive. Keep it going. Only a bit just, of course, the lead's still fantastic from still Falcon's best. 17k lead, but. It's not over quite yet. Not quite yet. I mean, Quinn, good buyback. They yep. see them overextending, and they do use these buybacks and are able to get these finish-up kills through those cold embraces, a couple of them. Two minutes till that Roche. When a crit shows in the lane, they may try and get Ace. They will. The setup. Oops, the the not going to connect, but they have the glide net. It's a bit risky now. This is buying time for the rest of Falcons to get over, and indeed, Amar straight away on a Quinn. Quinn puts the BKP in an attempt to finish off crit. But he's, what, he's not doing enough damage. He's not going to be able to kill Crit off. And now with the curse set up there, they can just turn and take Quinn down instead. What a babe. It just took them a little too long to try for that kill. Quinn's out for 100. Celery and Ace will escape. But no Templar Assassin here for the upcoming defense with his buyback still on cooldown. Did he have a healing, greater healing Lotus on Crit as well too? Because he healed up a lot afterwards. Let me see which one it was. I mean, either way, he headbanded them, Yules them, forced staff. He did every little thing he could do to survive till Snake got there. And yeah. He does survive long uh, enough. Um, maybe if they'd sort of got the initial bushwhack catch on to him, they maybe. might have been able to kill him quick enough, but wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. He He's gets away, and uh, yeah, Quinn has to very much overcommit to try and take him down. And now they don't have to wait for that rush. Now they can just push the issue. Yeah, there's no TA. Back. Crip, in with a vision setup, preparing himself for future potential tossbacks. Cliff, it's back oh, Skeeter. Skeeter's in. Gets rooted. Fortification coming to an end. The tower's gone. Barracks exposed. Let's see if they can get, go for more here. They can swing around towards the mid. They will. They're using all this time that Quinn's yeah, yeah, they could take a lot here, Falcons. Level 25's hit on Malreen also. He's gotten the broken talent. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. 30 seconds. The Racho trying to get as much out of this time as possible, split pushing. But the two Raxes, these two sets are gone. Yeah, they've got to let them fall. So they want to try for something. Ace considering going for this, but the Rax, they're going too quickly. And without Quinn, it's just not worth the risk. They've just got to wait. Let these go. Three smoke up here from both sides. Tense moments. They've got to find this wire. He's very far They're up. They're going to find him potentially. He's able to the blink off though. So if he's going to charge forward, he's going to get the Glide Mirror off on a crit. We'll see Amar jump over towards Ace. Ace keeps his distance. Maureen, and the three of them actually getting vacuum walled here by Ace. The BKB is out from Maureen, and he'll immediately start to force Quinn out of the fight. Quinn, he's got the mail. There's no detection down. So Quinn's going to be fine. Maureen has to turn over towards Duraccio instead. And they'll get him, but he's going to be back for round two. Snaking, he has used the curse solo onto Celery to hold him back. Duraccio is still going to fall very quickly a second time. Though. Ace also cut down. As Falcons, they will not struggle to take this fight. Nope. Quinn on the retreat. Is there any way for him to play his way out of this? He's got the BKB TP. They've got anything to stop it. They don't, so Quinn will get out of there. I mean, looks like he's going straight for that shot. Yep. yep. So they'll be able to get the MKB at these yep. base for him to be able to do some damage in the fights. But look at Falcons. They're looking to close it. They're looking to jump in. They've got the blink as well on Duraccio. Whoop. And there's the jump over towards Celery. Celery. Any way to get out of this one? There isn't. He's and out, the and that's curse. a huge amount of their damage gone. Maureen goes in with the BKB over towards Ace. Amar jumps in with the burst. Ace, he'll have to buy back. It comes out now. Quinn forced back to the fountain. Ace jumps in. He will get the vacuum on the skid. He'll get at least Anna, two illusions out. Oh, he's, the he's diving. He's healing up, and he's killing them underneath their own fountain. Turns <laughs> towards Quinn and Ace. Quinn will fall. 
triple kill for Malreen, and with that, this game should be over. Duraccio's got nothing more to play with here. He's trying to chase Snaking, but the cold embrace is out. Four dead on gaming gladiators. GG is called. Falcons will take this game too. They are truly on point with their teamwork this game. The, from the early moves, but pretty much just getting the outnumbering in most of the team fights. The bottom one in particular is the one that stands out the most to me, where they just instantly have five members, and you can see gaming, they're feeling frazzled. Well, they are. Honestly, Axe Carry is, uh, I'm not gonna waste our time, it's Grand Finals, but it's cool. All right, we got Ooh. OD coming out of the Ooh, mid lane. Are that's we happy? spicy. I was thinking range damage sustain. I didn't think of that. That's pure damage. That's exactly what I wanted. That's way better than any of my suggestions. I actually think that's a sick Dude, pick. And also the mana allergy that OD applies should, in theory, destroy timber. Of course, this pick for Quinn. We're going to get to see what he can do on this mid OD. Yep. Uh, also interested to see what crit is uh, going to be able to do on the Snapfire this patch. Yes, the Snapfire versus the Phoenix, of course. You know, this counter that we used to see time and time again in the past. Oh. The deal with the egg. Astral right away. They've got the Get set up. He's going to try and jump up to the high ground, but they're it's ready to grab him. First blood, and it's going to go the way of Quinn. He's going to be very happy with that. Crit is just always waiting in the wings. Yeah. He's going to be ready with one more combo. I mean, you can see it. Ah, look at him. Sets up for the call. I mean, Duraccio, he's, he's dead. dead again. All right, maybe this is just as hard as the Timber. I mean, it's, yeah, the way that they're playing this lane, Amar and Crit, it's looking pretty nasty. I and mean, look Crit, at Jukin. he's still alive. They couldn't quite hit him with that. Spirits, maybe Seller can get him at the next one. Can't see him. Oh, he doesn't quite know where he's gone. Crit. What him lane. Oh, he's. He got the cliff, but Ace. I mean, Mari's gonna him. have him. That's a successful move. Same time over in the mid. Quinn will drop the hammer onto Crit. I think we see Maureen do this more than any other player. He's like, oh, my mid lane is a little bit difficult. I'm just going to make a quick move to a side lane, try to get a kill, and then I'll go back to try to reestablish my lane. So they're a little unfortunate for him. Duraccio. Going to try and get with a combine. Set up, but there's going to be time for TPs to come in. And at this point, the burst not quite enough to really threaten Duraccio. Duraccio is still with half his HP to play with. Here comes that Skeeter rotation, though. Well, they'll be ready to dive the tower. And Every with a rocket barrage, tearing through Duraccio. He's gone. Celery is going to try and stun Ray away, but Maureen's in with the rotation as well. They get both. And now they slow down Duraccio again. I mean, that's the third death already up here. Even though he was catching back up in the CS, they shut him right back down. I mean, they're looking for crit. They should have him here. Has to cookie over to try and stun them, but he'll nope. claim it up as a Quinn's opening to this game. Definitely the best one that he's had so far this series. He's 3-0-0. They're going to see if they can try and cut off the escape of Amar. Should have a pretty good chance at this. That's Amar caught by the Astral. There's not going to be any backup coming in for him, so Gaming Gladiators will be able to set up, take down another as these movements from Quinn now. Quinn makes sure to keep his farm ahead. And he's got a TP set rotation. He's also got the ult ready to drop if they feel that they can bring Malorine down low enough to get the burst on him. Great interruption there from Tofu. Do they need to even drop the hammer? They will, will. to make sure. Quinn gets another 5 0, zero after two tough openings, tough games from Quinn. He's hitting back hard. This time they're playing around him. I think, like, last two games, I didn't see Tofu as much around the mid in the first 10 minutes. Now he's just sitting with him. Ace. And they're to dive in on towards him, but. Got the Stampede, he's just going to use it aggressively to turn back in and try and set up. By time for the team to TP over Draccio. But the Brave Five last over was snaking. Uh, but indeed, he may lose sort of his the one life here for it, because holding on to the point for now. Now he's going to be ready to pop it as a look to chase down snaking. Three in the, the carnation. Frostbite. Can he finish off either of these two kills? Frostbite's going to be there to hold him back. And Skeeter, Skeeter's cleaning he's gonna up. Fight back with a rocket barrage. There'll be a stolen frozen field coming out from Tofu. Bring in both Skeeter and Crit Low, and it's going to get him the double. Okay, nice deal. If they can get on top of him, they still do have ways to control oh, they him. they want to see what they can find here. Falcons as the smoke comes out. Ready to get Skeeter involved. You know, Skeeter wants to play very active here on the carry gyro. With that max barrage, I don't blame him. Yeah, that afterburner. I mean, Stampede's going to be back up in about 10 seconds. So Ace very close to having that to save himself. And Blade Mail can do some good work in this game. It might, the yeah, it might not be an easy kill to go for. They know there's a lack of TPs obviously coming after the last play. Look at One the, second oh. until the Stampede. Can he get it off? He cannot. Oh. Gets him down, at least Skeeter down to a quarter HP, but the dives again and again. Falcons, these moves, they're starting to separate away from Quinn. He also backs up at a good yeah, time. Gladiators know something's up. Yeah, they're like, what's, what's going on here? 
Mar thinking about it. He might still go for it. He's able to do so. Gets in with a two man call. Gets the job on to Tofu. On to Quinn. Quinn able to keep his distance, but the kisses are coming in. Quinn's got to back off. He's dead again. So much damage. And Quinn. I mean, Dracho's TP'd in aggressively for this him. fight. I mean, Dracho wants to try and make this fight happen. But they pretty lost, much lost the, the majority of them. The Supernova will be successful off to the side. Duraccio's he's, low. He's still going to tease around with by the three of them. He's going down. There's not much he can do to keep Duraccio safe as indeed Duraccio dead again. Turning up for these fights, not able to live. Maureen, he survives, oh, cuts across, God. finishes what? off Celery. Falcons get away with it. What a jump from Amar. Patience from Amar, really. Gets the two-man catch. It's just a little crystal name. But a good steal at the least for Tofu. Yeah. We got the frostbite. The uh, Quinn. It's pretty good. much they're just trying. They've got to try and get just everything on Quinn. Uh -huh. Give him all the kills. Give him everything. They see him. 20 see seconds him. until reincarnation's up. And Negative. you see how quickly they take him down. I mean, Quinn's going to head over. The TPs have come in. Can they get something in return in Gaming Gladiators? The Astral to hold back one in from Quinn. They're going to turn their teeth over towards Crit. But Mari's just straight back in with a burst over towards Quinn. Full staff himself back to safety. The kisses start to come through. Drops the Sanity's Eclipse to finish off crit. Further TPs to come into play here. Jump Amar off from Amar though. He gets the two of them with a the call. Quinn's dead. I mean, Topher will turn first down Amar. But Celery, has he got any way out of this no one? He hasn't. I mean, each and every time, Amar very selfless with his plays. He goes in, knows that he's almost certainly going to die. But he absolutely gets the job done each and every time. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Gladiators, they'll settle for a trade, at least trying to get something Dyer's off the map away from Falcons. Tier one down Dyer's the bottom, finally taken. Off. They're going to try and go for the play with the okay. wraparound. They go through the twin gate with this smoke. They have Chakram stolen on Tofu for only a little bit longer, though. They do need every little thing they can get Dyer's right now on game. So what sort of a jump they can get? Amar. Amar knows. He's going to be the one to find them first. They'll catch him with the opening. They get the telekinesis into the fade bolt. They'll look to burst through Amar. They'll do it. Amar's gone. There's a stampede to reset for now. Frostbite to catch on to Ace. He's also going to have a missile heading his way. And Skeeter stepping up. Cooldown coming in. Won't make the connection. But jump forward with the cookie. Gets straight in on top of Ace. Ace is gone. I mean, the status of the clips is going to be dropped. But it doesn't do a whole lot at all. They have four now, though. Four versus three. Gaming is striking back. So the supernova used as the age is gone. It might pop right on time. So one more they can find here. It does pop right on time. We're going to take the current and with sort of the stun control under more Skeeter. Get him. Gaming back. gladiators with that move. They'll absolutely fight their way back into this one. He's got the bloodstone. He's he's thinking about making the jump. Of course, Duracho does have reincarnation available. He's going to try him off. He's in. There's the jump. They get the catch, they're going to be the defensive Astral from Quinn again, coming out to keep it safe. Ace Stop is in with the two-man who stop. He's going to get the connection onto Skeeter and on towards Maureen. They'll try and force Maureen to safety, but with another fire on him, he's in trouble. Quinn focuses him down. The heel's going to come out. Maureen tries to turn. He's, he's alive. alive. He's going to live. He's up to the high ground. He's away. Skeeter's in on top of Quinn as Quinn is surrounded. Ace is finished off. Quinn goes down. Double kill for Skeeter. Oh, my goodness. They, they somehow managed to keep Maureen alive. As Gladiators, they've lost four effectively as Celery had to buy back for this one. They're diving the base here, Falcons. Holy crap. And Amar, he's not done yet. He's looking over towards Celery. Celery crawling back towards the fountain. Dude, Snaking used a greater healing Lotus on Malreen That's while what he's getting came chased. In. That's what came in. And then they pass him the cheese afterwards. He pops and heals up. Even though he didn't have the BKB, Gaming tried their hardest with they the nullifier. They are. They've, they've stepped it up a little bit in this Game 3 Gaming compared to what we saw in Game 1 and Game 2, but it's still seemingly not enough against Falcons. Hey, Falcons, just this series just seems to have powered up to Super Saiyan levels, covering each other perfectly. Oh, what a greater healing Lotus by Snay. I was like, who, who did it? I was clicking on Crit and Snay instantly, and yeah, it was Snay. Passed it over onto his buddy. I mean, they were so close to killing him, Gaming. And now, losing the base, the mid set completely cleaned up. Skeeter now having a full Daedalus too, so his damage has massively increased at BKB on the Snapfire, of course. This is pretty scary as well, Gaming Gladiators being down at this part of the map. They might get Can surrounded. Can lead them into being wrapped around on pretty hard here by the smoke movement from Falcons. Uh oh. They're a bit split up as well. We'll see who Omar's going to get the jump on Quinn. He's going to walk right on him. He's able to get the BKB on. Drax is going to try and jump onto the back lines. Looks towards Crit. Crit on the retreat into the BKB, but Drax is going to be able to stay on target and kill Crit off. Skeeter moving forward with the flat cannon. Quinn's is going to TP out. Can he make it away? He can. 
And the rest of them escape. Ace will some of the BKB TP. He gets out as well. Derecho BKB TP is not going to save him. As a Marzin gets the call, gets the dunk off. He should be ready to go for round two as Derecho will be the one to fall. They save everyone else. You know, for how that sort of started, the fact that Gaming Gladiators only lost Derecho, that's pretty that's remarkable. Not to look for Celery. Can he get away? He's going to go for the TP outside of the map. Derecho. Derecho. I mean, he'll try and get a Ooh. Ooh. Goodness, that blink at the last moment there. They're right on him, Derecho well. gets the kill. He's going to be stampeded as well. Hey, might be able to steal a Wisdom Rune. Grab that Wisdom Rune. There we go. Okay, he'll get something out of it. He might even get crit as well. A couple more hits. Can he get it off the home and missiles in? BKB persists for now. Reincarnation so will be there. Can he blink out of this one, Duraccio? He nope. can't. Immediately caught by the call. He will die for this. But hey, you know, he got a kill on a support, and he was able to pick up a Wisdom Rune on the way out. Sure. It's something. It's something. Yeah, for a team that's 27k behind, you take what you can get. Uh, it's not going to be there for three that minutes now due to that snipe from Maori. Oh, that's a huge one. Amar just jumps in, tries to get a catch. No one there. The tower to fall. Get the jump in. So he's got the Aegis here, Skidder, so even if they kill him the once, he's not going to care too much. Just fly over it. Wait, what? Yeah. He flew over it, the Avion. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he walked right through because of the moving speed at first, and I'm like, wait, he's floating, okay. Yeah, sort of what broke through because yeah. of the crazy numbers that you get on this jar nowadays, but yeah, you're right. He's able to fly over it, then it's 10 seconds until Duraccio's back. Astral, but... His bottom racks going down. Not quite able to get the grab onto Maureen Amaz in with the jump. He's able to get the call off on a Quinn. Quinn, can you get away from him? They'll use the stampede. Duraccio's in, jumps straight forward over towards Amar. Mars BKB about to come to an end. They're in with the stun. They've killed Amar off. Now they'll turn in for more. Look over towards Skeeter. Skeeter forced away, but they list there from Tofu. They'll drag him back. They'll take the Aegis out. Maureen turns back in, but the Duraccio BKB's there. Supernova's off to the side. Skeeter's going to try and look towards the egg. The snap fight comes in. It's Chris dead. Staking are able to help take it down. Finish off the Supernova. The Sanity's Eclipse goes out for Quinn, but it doesn't matter. Quinn's gone. The buyback's having to come out now from Game gladiators but Quinn he's got no buyback available dive for from Celery now the buyback comes out from Ace but Duraccio he's gone he's got a few seconds left here in this Ray form he gets a couple of hits onto Marion but that's all that he has left in the tank give him the rampage he deserves it uh, he's certainly looking for he it he's over towards Tofu and Ace see the jump forward has he got the burst that's with the chakra he has get towards that fountain get in there come on Nah, he's, not gonna, oh. he's sensible. He's being sensible. Yeah. He wants to close this up. This game, this win, it's going to give him the championship title. He's like, I'm sure you guys missed me at the last tournament. I, I come in and we just 3-0 yeah. finals. Hey. Holy moly. And Stellary, they're going to give it one last shot to try and keep Falcons off the Ancient. Ancient Delayed the BKB rampage. in the Blade Mail. But he's just getting... Wrong. Just, yeah, he's dead. It's over. GG, it's wow. gold. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Falcons, they're going to be your champions here at the Dream League Season 23. Just going to show a new patch. It doesn't matter. They were doing this back on the old patch. ESL1 Birmingham, they make it look easy. And now on this new one, they had it. it's sort of a day where they were figuring things out. But it comes to a best of five grand finals. And uh, they, they seem like they figured it out completely. As uh, this third game, sure. Gaming Gladiators were able to stretch it out a little bit longer, but it still looks incredibly over for the most part. It was, still, it was still the Maureen show, absolutely. Uh, he just really took over. Of course, they set him up for this success, but good God, 17, 1, and 13. Wow. 30 of the 38 kills he's involved in. Some great catches, of course, from Amar there too, but my God, this guy, honestly. Maureen comes in, takes one little, couldn't make it to the last one, of course, but then, yeah. Unreal performance. Ah, this is insane stuff. Just to see this team, as I say, keep this level, coming in fresh on a new patch, a mid-tournament patch, doesn't shake them up when it comes to crunch time here in the Grand Finals. These three victories back to back. I mean, everyone was watching this team before. Some, how they're going to find a way to watch them even more right now if you're a pro team in the circuit here, Fog, because Falcons, they've just figured it out at a level that no one else has. And this is sort of beyond the patch, just in Dota itself. They know how to win these games, and very few teams seemingly have any chance of stopping them. It really is beautiful when you see them just, it's every tournament that you do see them play, it's like the supports are dying some places, but they get so much out of the map when the supports die, their cores just end up being massive, and look at the damage they're able to do. 60,000 from Skinner, 40,000 from Maureen, leading the charge. What else is there really to say about these guys? They seem to just have everything covered. The warding, the, the team fights, I think, is their number one thing besides their laning, their individual skill and prowess.
It's unreal. It really is. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Impressive stuff, beyond impressive stuff from Team Falcons.